what if you could control your dreams you could fly like a superman or run like the flash you could even colonize mars before elon musk the idea of controlling your dreams is pretty exciting you could get rid of those nightmares and live out your ultimate fantasies what are you saying is it really possible to control your dreams absolutely welcome back to thought control and today we are going to talk about lucid dreaming as we have discussed earlier in our video about dreams scientists believe that dreams are an important part of our high level cognition training and emotional lives so what is this lucid dreaming that you are talking about lucid dreaming happens when you are aware that you are in a dream while you are still dreaming and if you are lucky you can even control your environment and the whole dream realm early references to the phenomena are found in many ancient cultures greek philosophers including aristotle have talked about being aware of dreaming while asleep cultivating the dreamer's ability to be aware that they are dreaming is also central to both the ancient indian hindu practice of yoga nidra and the tibetan buddhist practice of dream yoga in fact the cultivation of such awareness was a common practice among early buddhists but what does the science says well in the modern times lucid dreaming has been widely studied and reported for many years and as a result many different theories have emerged development in psychological research also have pointed to ways in which it can be utilized as a form of sleep therapy there are two types of ways in which a lucid dream can occur either something within the dream triggers the dreamer to understand that they are dreaming alternatively a person can move from the waking state to dreaming with no loss of awareness lucid dreaming like most dreams usually happen during rem sleep hey this says about 55% of people have experienced one or more lucid dreams in their lifetime yes however frequent lucid dreaming is rare only 23% of people have lucid dreams at least once a month in 1968 celia green analyzed and concluded that lucid dreams were a category of experience quite distinct from ordinary dreams and said that they were associated with rapid eye movement sleep which we call rem sleep green was also the first to link lucid dreams to the phenomena of false awakening which is a vivid and convincing dream about waking up from sleep while the dreamer in reality continues to sleep In 1975 Dr Keith Hahn had the idea to exploit the nature of rapid eye movement to allow a dreamer to send a message directly from dreams to the waking world Well that's interesting Then Stephen Lubbers performed a study that showed that time perception while counting during a lucid dream is about same as during waking life He made lucid dreamers count out to 10 second while dreaming signaling the start and the end of the count with a prearranged eye signal measured with the electrooculogram recording seems like i spoke earlier lavers also proposes that there are higher amount of beta 1 brain wave activities is experienced by lucid dreamers hence there is an increased amount of activity in the parietal lobes making lucid dreaming a conscious process why so much research Just sleep and have fun man. Well, psychologists have explored the application of lucid dreams to reduce the impact not only of nightmares during sleep but also depression, self-mutilation and other problems in waking life. So we can solve the problems of our daily lives in our dreams. Testimonials from a number of people who claim they have used the practice of lucid dreaming to help them solve a number of creative issues from an aspiring parent thinking baby names to a surgeon practicing surgical techniques dreams come under the territory of your subconscious being aware of your dreams can mean being aware of your subconscious the gates of your subconscious mind open up for you to explore that kind of goes with the native american belief 
that dreams are more important than the waking life in impacting your behavior. Wow! So how can one induce a lucid dream? Well, that's fairly simple. Again, simple doesn't mean easy. Your body falls asleep if it is comfortable, relaxed and doesn't register movement for around 30 to 45 minutes. If you can keep your mind awake all this while, you will enter the dream realm. By moving deeper and deeper into relaxation, one feels lighter and lighter, eventually encountering a sleeping feeling. If the mind is still alert, this sleeping is reported to feel like leaving the physical body. The tricky part is that your brain keeps sending signals to your body to make sure if you are asleep or not, so it can shut off. Signals like itching. Yeah, I said simple, not easy. Hey, I know about this. The mind awake, body asleep state. It has been used by many to tackle their problems. Correct. Thomas Edison used to rest a silver dollar on his head while sitting with a metal bucket in a chair so that as he sleeps, the coin would noisily fall into the bucket, restoring some of his mind's alertness. Salvador was said to use a similar method to gain odd visions which inspired his painting. Hey, what are you going to dream about tonight? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any feedback, please let us know in the comment section below. And do not forget to share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye. Astala Vista. Tata. Bye bye. Start. What are you saying? Is it really possible to control your dreams? Huh? Take forward action. And if you are lucky, you can even control your environment and the whole dream realm. <laughs>